So we're gonna run our fingers right through your crotches ring. So you guys wanted it, so now we're gonna get it. So we're off in style on Sarah Jane to Styles to show you guys a haircut, beard shape, and hair styling tutorial video. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Sipping margaritas with a couple senoritas Running, running through the city in some brand new Adidas Sipping, sipping on drink, rolling on reefer High like, high like Wiz Khalifa High like Wiz Khalifa High like Wiz Khalifa Wiz Khalifa High like Wiz Khalifa High like Wiz Khalifa Wiz Khalifa High like Wiz Khalifa High like Wiz Khalifa There he is Harris, now you guys asked about hairstyling, hair care and all that jazz and where better to go than the man that does it for me. So, he's going to explain the cut that we're going to do, then we're going to go to the styling side of it so I'm going to show you guys how we end up getting the final look that you always see compared to the before. Always asked, what is the cut called? This is it's sort of a disconnected um, comb over. A this, comb over? Well, Don't give him that ammunition, Jesus, it's the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Basically what we do with Lexus Air, uh, the people that struggle with the parting line is that we take Lexus Air away from the parting line. So, we go a lot higher, shave it down to the sides, fade it all out. We're gonna leave all this length on the top. We keep this length on the front as well. We're going for a bit of the Viking look, sort of modern sort of Viking look. My natural parting is a little bit lower than where the parting is that we shave it up to. And the reason we do that is so the hair always falls to the right. Because when we left it a little bit left, it would fall to the left hand side. So we've negated that by changing where the parting goes. So now he's gonna garrot me. Yeah. We'll get on with the chop chop. style has been done so you can see here that the parting is taken quite high so where's my natural parting here here isn't it right there. ignore this I've got a cut on my head which is now showing through so that's not anything Harris did that's yeah. me yeah he did it but he threatened me <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is we cut in just above the parting and that forces the hair to want to go natural to that right side even if I shake and then whip back see nothing perfect lined up on the edges using the cutthroat yep quick one we want to talk about with the beard, beard styling line the top now, little thing here, how to make the beard look thicker. Quick little trick. Um, to get a fuller look on your beard, um, a lot of people, what they do tend to do is take, follow that line and go right around into the jaw. What we're doing, we're creating another line away from the jaw. Yeah. Okay, so with the side angle, as you see Lex's original hairline should be just down there. So what we've done, we've actually pushed it out. So if you look, it looks a lot squarer, a lot fuller and a lot heavier on the back. If you cut it up to the jaw, when you turn away, you end up with this like bold mm -hmm. bit here that looks exactly. under. And it almost makes you look like you've got a waddle neck. So if you ever shave your thing, you think, yes, I've got a man jawline. And you go like that and you go, what the hell's that? That's what you're doing because you're creating too much of a contrast. So this is where it would finish normally. And I'm just leaving that little bit extra. You can see it if I pull tight. There's my jaw. And we're leaving this bit. Little trick, handy hint for making your beard look a little bit better. Now we're going on to styling Lex's hair. This is some product that we sell. It's the salt spray and the texturizing spray also. Salt spray. salt spray. I'd never heard of it until Harry showed it to me. If you have hair like mine which is heavy and falls, put product in it, it looks great for like 10 minutes and then goes, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. This shit keeps it upright. Only thing I would say is, if you go put it in your hair every day, you need to wash it wash out, out to re put it yeah, back in. Definitely. Especially really good for people who've got light hair, a thinning hair, and what this does actually volumizes and brings out the volume and does actually make it look very If you have thinning hair, let me tell you one thing. Stop using gel. Because it's full of vitamins and minerals for your hair, it actually doesn't damage the hair. There's nothing in it but water now, it's just it's just wet. A couple of sprays of this salt spray. Now, no. you can actually use this hair product as an overall styling product as well. I've used yeah. it on its own and then I use it with a matte, we use it with a matte finish. Yeah, matte finish, yeah. Matte finish. If you don't want wet look, wet. if you make anything wet look, your hair's going to look thinner. Unless you've got super thick hair or you're deliberately going for that wet look, avoid it, go for the matte clay finishes. Once you put it through, just round the back, just give it a quick little run through like that and then just comb your hair into the style. So with Lex we're going to keep this quite down but we will put volume in it so it's just a bit of, just gives you a bit of direction of how to style your hair. You have to use a hairdryer with this to get the full effect of this you have to use a hairdryer. All those guys you see in action films, blow dried hair. All the guys you see in the pictures, blow dried hair. You need to own a hairdryer if you want your hair to do what you want to do. 
you got to train it. So that's the blow drying done. The trick with this, the trick with this, which Harris also taught me, is the brush, you need one of these looking things. And the trick is to curl it underneath. Basically, with the hairdryer, yeah. So you roll it underneath. So you get it up and you roll under and then you blow dry that way. So you're training the hair to go up, which is going to give it that volume. And when you use the salt spray, you'll immediately see the hair. Just so you can see it straight away. So once you train it over time, that's what creates that look. Now we're going to use... Yeah, some some matte paste that we sell here also. So, so with the matte... Applying it, the best yeah. way to do it. Yeah, look. So dry hair now, it's all dried. So we're going to get a very small amount of hair product on your hand. The thing is, you can always add more. When you have too much hair product, you end up going to wash it out again and it's going to get yeah. frustrating. Ah, it's getting annoying. Your arms get tired and it's been to the gym and you get some guns and you got some <laughs> training. You mean, just going to put just, my hair just, in just, now. Yeah, 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 just, oh. yeah just, just, just maybe just style <laughs> the hair a little bit. Like, One trick, don't do this. Don't have it yeah. all in your hands and then go front. It'll clump. Start exactly. at the back, work it through, exactly. and then with what's left on your hands afterwards, that's when you style the front. So we're going to run our fingers right through... Your crotch is ringing. Oh, oh there's turn you I'm off. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So we've got this now, so we'll just get a bit of lift into that volume, and then just keep rubbing the product through your hair. See, it's really natural, matte looking. Not greasy at all, is it? No. That's See, a lot of that is the salt spray, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, the salt spray, spray You know, it's... Just the, the wax on the aftermath is just basically just to hold it in place afterwards. Stop you the don't flyaways. Wanna, yeah, you don't. You stop all the flyaways. You don't want to be doing too much with the hair product. There you go. You can see. Look how it holds the volume from front to back. So when you are doing the blow drying, make sure that you blow dry from the front, but also get the body of hair all the way through, so that, that keeps that whole thing elevated and stops it falling flat. Oh, look at that. What you can do afterwards, it's not a must, it's come on his bike today, so he's going to just plonk his helmet back on. I'm going to wreck this um, as soon as I leave So here. basically what you do is from a far distance, just a bit of hairspray, not too much because it can get quite sticky, so just a very light amount of hairspray. And same again, just a different one. Yeah, once you get the hairspray on, you can actually still mould it yeah. within the like 30 second time yeah. period. Awesome. There it is. Look at that. So we came in, it was all over the show, and now we have a textured, non-greasy, styled, held in place, good ass looking hacker. Hell yeah. So there you go, all those questions that you wanted answering about the styling and how we do it, that is it. All learnt from, from this man himself. That salt spray is 100% the winner, so you don't have to use it every day, but on the times when you really want your hair yeah. to stay set, with that with the hairspray, on its own will hold it in place, but that matte finish clay that you can get hold of, they're what give you the, the textured fingered run throughs that give you that kind of separation of certain hair and, and you can you can also you can roll little bits of hair and tweak little bits so you can like, create that curl to come down or whatever. But that's it, that's the tricks of all the trade. I hope that helps, I hope that answers it. As in depth as we want to go without boring the shit out of everybody and ourselves. Yeah, it looks good though, it looks good. It looks sick. The weather's good, everything's good. There you go. So this is Harris's Modern Viking. Oh. Lovely. Yeah, it's good, dude. Going back on again. I've been styled by Lord Harun yourself. Why? How are you a lord? Because I'm the man. I thought you could yeah. only get a lord if you bought land. Well, got a given present. Oh, yes, just like everybody has. Here you go. Have some land that makes you a fucking lord. 